What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Getting into this episode of GH. Um, listen, I'm all for Michael going to Carly and the rest of the Corinthoses for support and comfort. I'm all for that. But see, my problem whenever he goes to Carly... And, you know, she always sit there, oh, is there anything I can do for you? Like, I, I'm all for the comfort and support. I'm all for that. My biggest issue is whenever he goes to Carly, she takes control. That's my problem with her. Like, she just will not let Michael be a man. It's like he's a grown man. Stop thinking that you can solve his problems. Now, don't don't get me wrong. I know it's the parent in people that make them want to solve their kids' problems, no matter how old they are, like you want to solve your kids' problems, whether they're kids, whether they're grown, you want to solve their issues, but you're actually doing them a disservice by constantly fixing their problems. Even in adult, you know, when they're adults, like you're really doing them a disservice. And it's not like Michael's asking her to interfere, you know, he's not asking her to do that, you know, he can handle his own business. But Carly has this problem. It's like a control issue with her. Like if somebody does something to her son or whatever, she feels like she has to jump in and be the mama bear and protect them. I get that. You know, that's her instinct as a parent. I totally understand. I'm not trying to sound, you know, like I don't get it because I do. But she needs to learn how to fall back. Like you cannot solve this man's problems for him. Like he's a grown man. I knew once she found out about him and Sasha breaking up and her and Chase, I knew she was going to confront Sasha. I knew it. I knew she was going to confront Sasha about it because that's just Carly. It wouldn't be Carly if she didn't. And even Nell predict, predicted that Carly was going to come near and lash out. Nell, Nell knew it. She even warned Sasha about it and told her, you might want to leave this hotel before... <laughs> Carly come and throw your ass out because she knew what was going to happen. Nell knows, like, if you mess with Michael, you know you're going to feel the wrath of Carly. Um, And just as she predicted, Carly walked up, and if looks could kill, Sasha would have been dead. Um, You know, Michael went and took a little run or whatever, you know, to kind of clear his head. And, of course, bumped into Nell at the park. Um... Sasha decided, you know, since her and Michael broke up, she called them and let them know that she, you know, got all her stuff packed. She's moving out of the quarter main. She left her key in the foyer. Um, and their goodbye kind of did sound final. I'm just so over this, like, because I just feel like the reasoning behind it was so stupid. And I'm glad Finn told Chase about himself. You know, and he just kept trying to tell Chase, like, Dude, you're making a big mistake by breaking things off of Willow. And he is. He's making a huge mistake because you're playing God. You know, you are playing God. And that's not something that you should be doing. You know, you're taking her choice away from her. It's not up to you. It's not up to Sasha. If Willow, you know, decides to marry Michael, it's not up to ya. It's up to Willow. And Willow made her choice. The only reason she didn't marry Michael was because of Chase, because she's in a relationship, a committed relationship with a man that she loves. So she made her decision. I just hate that Willow. I mean, I just hate that Sasha and them, you know, manipulated her and try to manipulate her to, to marry Michael. It's like that wasn't y'all right. You didn't have the right to do it. And I'm glad Finn let Chase know about himself. Like, he's making a huge mistake, and this is going to backfire. It's going to backfire in a major way. Chase was, he's like, come on, bro, you you too smart for this. So, of course, you know, Willow showed up or whatever to get the rest of her stuff, and it was kind of like awkwardness between them, because when she was at the Metro Court or whatever, she was on the phone, you know, with Lucy or whatever, trying to find a one-bedroom. Um, and of course, you know, Nell was there eavesdropping. She was like, so the rumors are true. <laughs> so, of course, Nell trying to play the victim card, talking about some, oh, so Chase did to you what he did to me, basically threw you away, dumped you, broke your heart. Nell is so good at playing the victim that it's sad. Like, first of all, Chase did not dump you. He did not break your heart. You were a con woman, a criminal. 
and you know you were manipulative and trying to play him. So don't sit there and try to blame no chase. Nell is just crazy. Um. So she Nell also told Sasha that now that her and Michael apparently broke up, she wants you know her lawyer to call Nell. I mean, call Sasha as a character witness for her. Like Nell just don't stop. Like she just really don't stop at all. Like Nell need to learn how to get a life. <laughs> like this whole custody thing is just so stupid. I don't know why she don't just go for split custody, joint custody, and call it a day. Like seriously. Um. So anyway, moving on from all of that. Um. So Valentine is still talking with Charlotte or whatever. Charlotte wants him to take her and the two of them could just run away or whatever. Valentine thinks that he's doing the right thing, but in hindsight, you're not. And I'm glad Nina told him that. Nina let him know, like, you're really not, you know, you think you're doing the right thing, but it's really the wrong thing to do. Because at the end of the day, Charlotte needs both her parents and she's super attached to Valentine. So if you leave that little girl, I think it's just going to make her worse than what she currently is. Like, I understand you know, he feels like, oh, he's a bad influence and he needs to leave. No. And I agree with a lot of people in my comments who said the same thing. And Nina actually said the same thing, too. You don't need to walk out of her life. You just need to change and become a better person for her. That's what you need to do. And I agree. Like, if you really want to, you know, be in her life and stuff and you feel like you want her to know right from wrong, then you need to start practicing what you preach. And you need to start doing the right things instead of always doing the wrong things. That's what you need to start doing because you're sitting here pushing people off the parapet and stuff and your daughter saw you do it. And Lulu, she also, she's another one who need to watch what she say around her daughter. Because it's obvious that not only is Valentine's actions affecting Charlotte, it's Lulu's words that are affecting Charlotte as well. Because she knows that Lulu hates her father. And she overhears a lot of the conversations that Lulu have about her dad. So she know and she picks up on that negative energy that Lulu has towards Valentine. So Lulu need to watch her actions and watch her words. Both of them need to watch it when it comes to their daughter. That's why their daughter is acting the way that she acts. It's not just because of Valentine. It's Lulu too. But Lulu likes to make everything out to be Valentine's fault. That's the problem. It's you too. It's not just him. It's you. It's you as well. It's your words. It's your actions. This is why Laura kept telling Lulu to play nice with Valentine when you're around Charlotte. Stop giving off that negative energy. Stop being rude. Stop being hostile. Stop doing all that because she's noticing that's what's going on. She's not stupid. She's a smart child. She's not dumb. No kid is dumb. They know what's going on. These It's not just Charlotte. It's kids all around the world with, with parents who who, you know, split custody or whatever like that that they feed off of that like they know what's going on they know the negativity even when you think they don't know they know they know you got to stop underestimating your kid because they know what the hell is going on and that's the problem with you know lulu and them like and i'm glad lulu took valentine into the office and they talked and they came to a compromise a decision that valentine is not you know gonna leave charlotte's life and they came to a compromise, which I think is good. And I'm glad Lulu, you know, finally let go of that anger for a second towards him and finally did something in the best interest of her child, because that's really what this is about. You know, yeah, you can continue to hate Valentine all you want to, but you have a child now. and You need to start putting her above your anger. That child need to come before your hatred, period. That's just what needs to happen. And I'm glad Nina was there to kind of be an intermediate between them, you know, and let Valentine know about himself. So anyway, moving on from that. Why the hell is Molly listening to Christina? Like, why? Why are you entertaining the nonsense coming out of Christina's mouth? Because Molly has a conscience. Like, she was all set and ready to tell TJ the truth. She wants to tell him the truth because she don't want no secrets. And she's not the type of person to keep secrets like that. You know what I mean? Like, look at her. She's jumpy and sketchy acting. Like, she just she's not a good secret keeper. <laughs> like, she's just not. And that's all right. You know, like, she's just an honest type of person. She wants to be honest in her relationship. I don't blame her for that. 
But of course, Christina is like the little devil on her shoulder trying to steer her in a bad direction. Then Christina sitting there talking about, oh, what you did with Brando had nothing to do with TJ. It had a hell of a lot to do with TJ. She would have never stood in another man's face giggling and flirting if everything was all good between her and TJ. She would have never done that. The only reason she did that and slept with that man, that's so out of character for Molly. The only reason she did all of that was because she thought TJ didn't want her no more. That's why he was ghosting her. So it had a lot to do with TJ. Her behavior had a lot to do with him. So I don't know what the hell Christina been smoking. Oh, it had nothing to do with him. It had plenty to do with him. What are you talking about? I don't know why she's sitting there entertaining the foolishness that's coming out of Christina's mouth. Christina, every relationship situation Christina has ever had has been a train wreck. From her teenage years to her now adult life have all been train wrecks. Every relationship has been nothing but disaster after disaster after disaster. So why take advice from her? Why listen to her? Like, Christina just need to, you know, learn how to either give better advice or just keep her mouth shut and listen. Like, that's what she need to learn how to do. Like, seriously, because you were just giving out the wrong <laughs> advice. Wrong advice. Like, just do not listen to that dummy. Please don't. No, that's... Mm, nope. I would never in my life take advice from that. Ever. Um. No. So, I don't blame Molly for wanting to tell the truth. Will she tell the truth? No, of course not. She probably going to rethink it and be like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Because, um, of course, when TJ comes in there, you know, he notices how Molly's acting. Like, she's acting jumpy and, you know, he, he notices her behavior. Like, she's just acting different and weird. And he, he's noticing it. And he's even asked Christina about it. Like, he's definitely going to notice. So then we go back to Sam and Brando. Sam, of course, continues to get on my everlasting nerves. Um, she just sitting there trying to warn Brando and threaten Brando. Brando had enough for her. He was like, you know what? You just need to mind your business. You need to mind your business. And it's so funny how when he brings up her situation with Jason and her being on parole, here she go. Oh, that's none of your business. Okay. And what he does is none of your business. Molly's a grown ass woman. I get that that's your sister and you think that you're protecting her. Or you're trying to stand up for her, but Molly doesn't need you to stand up for her because Brando is not threatening her. He's not doing anything to, you know, blackmail her. He's not. Do I trust Brando? Not really. And the reason I don't trust him is because I don't trust a lot of new characters. A lot of new characters that come around, I don't trust. I don't care whether they've done something or they haven't done nothing yet. I don't trust them until if I, I don't know a lot about Brando. You know what I mean? I don't know a lot about that character. So why should I trust him? And for me, being a person that I am, I'm not that trusting of a person. Not new people that I meet. I'm not. You got to prove your, yourself to me first before I can consider giving you some trust. Other than that, it's like I'm looking at you with a side eye until otherwise. But in this particular case, though, Sam was dead wrong and she was out of line. Like, I understand you sticking up for your sister, but you really do need to mind your damn business because this has nothing to do with you. It's not your business. He's not threatening Molly. He's not blackmailing Molly. He never even knew that Molly had a boyfriend. He didn't know that. He did not know until after the fact. He didn't know. Um, And Molly was sitting there flirting with him. So he thought she was single. She was flirting with him. He was kind of flirting back a little bit. Not really, not too much. But, you know, he thought she was single and she was just flirting. You know, that's all he thought it was. He had no idea about no man she got or nothing like that. He didn't know about that until after. So you can't fault him for that. He's not threatening her. So Sam need to calm down with all that and sit her ass down because nobody's scared of you. Like you sitting there talking about, oh, I'm warning you or whatever. Sam, nobody's afraid of you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? See, that's the problem with Sam. She need to mind her business. What she need to do is mind the business that pays her. Or go find some business that's going to pay her. Because I don't even know how she even make money nowadays. So you need to just go on ahead and go find you some business. Go take up some knitting classes. Crochet and do something. Go get a hobby. You know, start, you know, taking care of your children for once. Like, do something with your, with your life. 
And Molly basically showed up after Sam, you know, Sam leave. Molly, you know, basically wants to talk to Brando and basically make sure that they're on the same page as far as this situation go. Like, and Brando made it clear. He was like, I'm not going to say anything. He was like, you know, I have no reason to. I don't want to. I'm not trying to cause trouble for you and your boyfriend and nobody else in your family. Basically, he was like, I'm just, I'm not trying to cause trouble. So, you know, they're on the same page as that. Hopefully, they continue to be on the same page. But I just, for me, I just feel like Molly should just go on ahead and tell TJ the truth. Like, because I have a feeling the truth is going to come out. It's going to come out. One way or another, it's going to come out. Listening to Christina will get you in some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> listening to her will get you into a world of trouble that you are not yet ready for. So you might just want to go on ahead, do you, you know what I mean? Like you don't want that type of problems. You just do not want that type of problem. I'm just saying, just go on ahead and trust your instinct, trust your gut and just tell your man the truth. Because like I said yesterday, if she tell TJ the truth, I think he'll handle it a little better. He's going to be upset. He's going to be angry, but the longer you keep this secret, and if he has to find out from somebody else, the worse it will be. It's it's going to be worse. Y'all really going to break up. Because one, you kept this secret for X amount of time. Two, he probably got to hear it from somebody else. Like It's, it's just going to make it worse on him and worse for her and their relationship. Like, you know, like, if you just tell him the circumstances surrounding it, he might forgive you. I'm sure he would in time. You know what I mean? Like, but don't don't make it worse than what it is right now. And listening to Christina will make it worse. But anyway, this was a pretty decent episode. Um, Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I will see y'all all later. Hope you have a great day. Peace.